What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Crypto Kindness channel. My name is Jeff. In today's video, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to set a cap on your maximum gas fees when making transactions on Ethereum. Now, recently, we have seen that the Ethereum network congestion has gone up during the day, and sometimes gas prices, otherwise known as GUE, can get upwards of 75, 80, 100, 120 GUE, which translate to more expensive to do a transaction on Ethereum. Now, if you don't want to be spending a lot of money during these peak network utilization times, there is a way to set the cap on how much a transaction will cost you. So that way, you can simply click the button on your transaction and you can walk away. The transaction will be done when the gas prices come down, usually after business hours or sometimes on a weekend. And you don't have to sit around and wait for the uh, gas prices to come down before you do a transaction. It's really a convenience factor for you as much as it is uh, just not wanting to spend a lot of money on transactions. So a uh, couple important things before I jump into the tutorial. However, first and foremost, it's important to understand that everything I do on my channel is simply education and tutorials and coaching. None of what I do is financial advice. I will be talking about some crypto projects, um, using them as an example for my tutorials. It is not an endorsement for those cryptos. Always do your own research before investing in cryptocurrency and never invest with money you cannot afford to lose. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to go ahead and mint a ZenFT. And uh, what you're going to see here is that when you mint these NFTs, the price of doing so can fluctuate quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and hit mint here. It's going to bring up my MetaMask wallet. And this is a perfect example. Right now, there's a little bit of spike in the Ethereum network utilization. So the gas fees are pretty high. It's showing me $47 to mint one wallet, um, one NFT, which is, is pretty ridiculous. So we're going to go ahead and reject that transaction. We're going to come back to our MetaMask up here and click on that to open it up. Click on the dot in the upper right and go down to settings. Settings, we're going to go to advanced. And then we're going to scroll down to advanced gas controls, and we're going to turn that on. We're going to close that out, and we're going to go back over here and, and mint our NFT. Now we're going to hit mint again, and it's going to show, again, it's still $41. That's too much. We don't want to spend that much right now. We can be patient. So I'm going to hit edit. And in the edit, it gives you a couple of options. And we can see right here, it says network is busy, gas prices are high. Yes, they are. It's, going to, it's trying to charge me 79 GUE. Uh, as a max for this transaction. Uh, we don't need to do that. <laughs> it keeps going up. What I want to do is I want to set this to something I know that on the weekend, oftentimes, GUI gets down to about 13. So I'm going to set it at 13. That's it. And you see, when I set it at 13, it drops the price down to $9.12. And I simply hit save. And now we see estimated gas fee is $9.12. And I'll hit confirm. There we go. Now it, it shows here that the minting is in process. So what will happen is this will put a transaction on the blockchain that will execute once GUE gets down to 13. And, uh, you know, it'll happen. It'll, it'll just happen when GUE gets to 13. Now, uh, you might, if you follow um, Ethereum's gas tracker, so right here uh, it's showing 26 GUE. Actually, it's 50 right now. If you follow this at all, you can come down here a little bit farther to historical, historical gas prices, and it'll show you what the, the GUE has been over basically every 10 seconds for the last two hours. And we'll go down and, and increase this. And as you scroll down, you can see network utilization has been pretty high. It's gone from uh, 23 GUE all the way up to 105. So it does have to stay in the 13 GUE area for you know two or three minutes for that transaction to go through. But when it does, your transaction will execute. And so let's take a look at what this looks like on the blockchain. Okay, in order to see what this transaction looks like on the blockchain, I'm going to go to, uh, again, my MetaMask wallet. I'm going to click the three dots, view on Etherscan. This is going to show my wallet. And we can see right here this transaction is um, available to view in my uh, Etherscan 
of my particular wallet. So I'm going to click on this transaction hash right here. And it's going to show us the details. We're going to come down here and we're going to see that this is pending. It's, it's in transaction queue. And the max transaction cost right here, $9.13 at a capped gas price of 13 guay. So that's it. Now we basically just sit and wait for the network fees to come down sometime over the weekend. And this transaction will execute once it gets down to 13 guay. Now, the one thing I shared with you that is important to know is that uh, there is a little bit of a catch to doing this. And what that catch is, is how the Ethereum blockchain works. And basically, the blockchain works in a way that is, it has to execute the transactions in your wallet in order that they are received. So, if you put in a gas limit order, like we just did, uh, for a low gas, a low GUI amount, let's say 13, just like in our example, um, and then you decide later, like, oh, I want to make another transaction. I want to buy some whatever. I want to buy some Hex. I want to buy some Shiba Inu or something like this with funds in that same wallet. Um, and you go to do a transaction. That transaction, the new transaction, will not execute until the one prior to it is executed. The blockchain works just in a very um, first come, first serve way. So if you have funds in your wallet that you want to use for other transactions while you're waiting for your uh, max gas limit transaction to execute, that's not going to happen. So it basically can freeze your wallet from doing additional transactions until that first one is executed. Now, the good news is there's a way to cancel those transactions if they haven't executed and you want to go ahead and do something else, relatively easy and at a low cost. And if you want to learn how to do that, go ahead and watch this video right here for a tutorial on how to do just that. Thank you very much for coming today. As always, I'm here to help. These uh, DeFi techniques can be tricky. If you're new to crypto and you want to learn more, if you want to have a trusted advisor, someone to hold your hand and walk you through this, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. To learn more about that, take a look at the video description below and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for being here and have a wonderful day.